Let's talk about another property that we have for our artboards and that is going to be grid properties. Grids are so powerful in XD and they help us with our design, they help us design better. And we have two kinds of grids here in XD, layout and square. I'm going to show layout to you right now. And as I do that, these columns would appear on our artboard. Just don't worry about them, they are here to help us with our design. They are not shown to the user, so when we get a preview, as you can see, nothing is there. What they do is that they keep our design consistent, we can define the way we want to arrange our elements within our artboards with these grids. Let's explore them here a little bit. So we have the option to change the column numbers, we can change the color of these columns here. We can play with the gutter and column width of our columns. And we also have the option to set left or right margins. I investigated artboards from Mentor Me UI Kit and I realized that the designer used this setup for the layout grid. Three for the columns. 30 pixels for left and right margins, 9 for the gutter width, and 99 for the column width. And as you can see on the sign in artboard, every design element is placed inside of these three columns. The spacing between the left and right margins matches with the spacing between the end of this button and the edge of the artboard. So we can say that, that the designer used this setup to place the elements inside of this artboard. But as you can see, this setup is only applied here to sign an artboard and uh, in order to use it for another artboard, we can save it in Adobe XC memory by making it the default. Set current grid setting as new default. I'm going to select it and now if i come down here to the filters artboard select it use default those settings are applied here and as you can see every element within this design is inside of these three columns for the next artboard we have the same results Same result here. Then again, the same results. All right, so these artboards were from Mentor Me Resource. Let's apply this setting to the artboards from Social Meetup. Let's see what will happen. And as you can see, the edge of the card is a little bit wider than the columns of our layout grid so it doesn't fit in here let's see another one profile full I'm going to select it use default then again the cards are a little bit wider than the columns so the designer of the mentor me use this setting in order to have a consistent design throughout the design process we use layout grids mostly for web design, but there's no rule here. You can find your numbers and as you saw, some designers use layout grid in their mobile design as well. If you are new to designing, it might be hard a little bit to set up your grid for your designs. Just don't rush it, you'll learn it eventually. You can start with pointing a number for the spacing from edge of the screen and your design elements. So I'm going to hide grids for now. There is another feature called guides in XD and you can access them from the left side of your artboard. Just hover here and then this icon would appear. Click and drag in order to have a line and then you can appoint the spacing from the edge of your artboard. Let's say 30 pixels, that's fine. 
we need another line 30 pixels that's awesome for starters let's just start designing and have every element of our design just inside of these two guides here we can have endless guides we just can click and drag in order to have more and we also can add them from the top of the screen just click and drag 30 pixels click and drag 30 pixels you have some options for your guides uh, right now as you can see I can uh, click and drag to reposition them on my artboard but sometimes when we are designing something on top of them it would be annoying because we might accidentally click on here and change the sky so in order to prevent that we go to your view menu to the guides section then you have lock all the guides and if I do that as you can see I can't select them anymore then we have these other features hide them clear them or copy them I'm going to unlock them in order to delete them we just click and drag them outside of the artboard we also can clear them from the view menu so I'm gonna do that and they are gone the other type of grid that we have on XT is called square grid I'm going to show it to you we have some squares on our artboard and we can change their color change the number I'm using the up arrow key or I can enter a number and then we have these grids let's make it a default and apply these settings here so we can design based on these grids in our artboards and in order to have a consistent design we can apply these settings to other artboards that we design we use square grids mostly for mobile design but as i told you there is no difference at all there is also a faster way in order to show and hide grids instead of just selecting an artboard and going through the properties inspector you can access grids from here we also can use a shortcut I'm going to show layout I'm going to show a square it would apply as I wish on my artboards and we can save a little bit of time by using the shortcuts that we have for showing and hiding the grids using grids in your design is not necessary when you are starting to learn especially there is no need to rush using it all right some awesome designers some great designers don't even use it at all but i think it's a really cool feature and it will be useful in some places so don't rush using it and slowly adjust your design to the grids that you define. So that was everything you needed to know about grids in Adobe XD. They are so powerful and as you go on you are going to use them a lot in your designs. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you are always going to need them. Thank you and please subscribe to catch up with the course.